Thank you for letting me interview you. And thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your full name? Howard Morton Miller. Why did your parents select this name for you? I don't know. I, I don't remember. But usually in the Jewish tradition, uh, we are named for somebody in the family who lived before us. Um, and I forget who that may be. I, I, I don't remember. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You... Wasn't there a story that you were named Morton because your dad worked for Morton Salt? Uh, it could be, but I don't think so. It doesn't follow the tradition. Right, right. Right, right. I, I think remember. I was kidding around. Was that, that might have been a joke. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a nickname? Yes, Howie. And my best friend, one of my best friends still calls me Howie. When I when we talk to each other, that's not part of the question. That was one of the things. Didn't you have friends who called you how weird? Yeah, um, that was Kenny. He was no friend. No, uh, <laughs> that was much later. I mean, that was uh, during the eighties. Um, not when I was a kid. He didn't know me as a kid. But he did call you how weird. Well, that's Kenny's. <laughs> when and where were you born? I was born on June the 15th, 1940, in a place called Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ever hear of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> How did your family come to live in Philadelphia? Well, uh, my father, and here we go with Morton. Uh, my father lived in Virginia, but one of his first jobs he ever had was with the Morton Salt Company. They still make salt. You'll find it in the grocery store. If you go where the salt is, there's Morton Salt. And he used to work as a salesman for Morton Salt. And that was in the Philadelphia area. And that's where he met my mother when he changed jobs, moved to the Philadelphia area, and uh, met my mother. What is your earliest childhood memory? Well, uh, <laughs> the... Um, I can tell you a few of them, okay? Uh, one is sort of negative. Um, we'll get that out of the way first. When I was in uh, kindergarten, um, I bit one of the kids in kindergarten. <laughs> and uh, my mother... Um, was very upset about that. And uh, she made me, of course, apologize. Um, but she also bit me. My mother bit me so that I could feel what it felt like to be bitten. And I never bit anybody um, after that. I never bit. Describe a typical family. Wait, 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 there's more, more. Oh. I, I have really good memories, especially of elementary school. Um, in the playground uh, during recess, uh, the, the playground had a place where there was a hill of rocks, and we used to play tag you're in and the rocks were neutral territory you couldn't be tagged on the rocks um and that was fun and then we used to play stick ball 
We played step ball. We played wall ball. And the balls were like the size of tennis balls, but they were like red rubber. And um, <clears throat> they were a lot of fun, those games. Um, we played them a lot. And I played piano. So I began playing piano when I was six or seven. But before I played piano, my I remember I was six years old and my parents got me an, an accordion. <laughs> and I really didn't like the accordion. Uh, it was, that's a heavy instrument. Even the little accordions were heavy. You strap them on your shoulders. And then they finally bought a piano. And I love that. Step ball. Step ball. We would throw the ball against the steps. We had steps in, uh, at the house <clears throat> as hard as we could. And the person that I was playing with had to catch that ball no matter which way it went. And, and until they caught the ball, they didn't have a turn until they were able to catch the ball. That was step ball. Describe a typical family dinner. A typical family dinner. We had a little house um, and a little kitchen so that, uh, and there was a little table <laughs> in the kitchen and uh, not like you guys, you have a big table, but this was a little table. And I remember a typical family dinner, we were sitting quite close uh, to each other. And the table was very, very, very crowded. Did things fall off the table? Um, sometimes. Who was the oldest relative you remember as a child? Oh, well, that's easy. My mother and father's parents, and I l really liked them a lot. They were from Russia, or they were from Kiev, uh, which is part of uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. You hear a lot about Ukraine these days, but Ukraine used to be part of Russia. And um, they were from a place near Kiev in Russia, both of them. But they didn't come over together. They met when they were here, both of them in the United States. Um, I liked my grandfather very, very much. Um, he did a lot of things. He, he, he was... One of the things he did in Russia was uh, being a farmer and living on a farm. And so he kept growing things when he was here too in his backyard, like strawberries and other, uh, some uh, cucumbers and tomatoes. And he used to pickle the tomatoes. They were so good. And uh, from the strawberry, he made strawberry. Uh, it wasn't wine. Uh, it, it was a strawberry f liquor. Uh, and he would make that. And I remember for Passover, he would go to the fish store and buy a live carp. And, let, and until Passover... Let it swim in the bathtub for a couple of days. <laughs> and uh, then he would kill the carp so that uh, my grandmother could make gefilte fish. How did he kill the carp? Oh, how did he kill the carp? <laughs> he, um, this is, uh, well, he had to knock it over the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did the water spill out of the tub? 
Uh, no, I don't remember that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Are there any special heirlooms, photos, Bibles, or any other memo memorabilia that you've been passed down in your family? Um, mainly photos. A lot of photos. Um, nothing from the old country. Nothing from Russia. It all, it, all the photos begin from the time they came here. They were in their teens when they came here. And they came with nothing special except some clothing, I guess. And that's it. When and how did you meet Bubby J? Oh, uh, Bubby J and I met at Temple University Music School. We were both students there. And one day I was uh, walking down the hall and there, there was a bunch of practice rooms and I heard someone playing the piano really well. I mean, it was terrific. And I had to see who it was. There was no windows in the practice rooms. So I opened the door and there she was. Hmm. When did that happen? Like what year? Ah, 1960? Yeah, probably. 1959. 1959. What did you do on dates? On <laughs> dates? Well, we both like movies a lot. So I know we went to the movies, we went to concerts, and we, uh, she introduced me to foods that I never ate before when we went out. Um, I, in my house, we were kosher, so I never was allowed to eat, uh, let's say, crab or shrimp or lobster. And those things, and so uh, I, I like those things a lot now. Uh, and so we went out to dinner, and we would make out, you know. <laughs> hmm. No reaction. Mark, could you lower? Uh, yeah. G-rated. You know, yeah. Oh, what, you, what? What? Could you lower the screen so we don't lose Wesley's face? Oh yeah, yeah. sit up too, but. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's great. Thank if, you. And hey, if, if, there's, if, if there's anything you think of while he's answering, you can follow it up with another if question. If you could choose one thing that you wanted the world to remember about you, what would it be? Um, well, it would be a couple things, not just one thing. Um, that I was a good person and that I was a really good teacher and a good musician. What do you want me to remember about life or growing up? I think one of the important things is to remember is to do what you love. Do what you love to do. And you'll be happy about that. What's your favorite food? Oh, lobster. Any specific? Seasoning on the lobster? Uh, uh, butter. <laughs> Good. How, how long have you been teaching? Uh, <laughs> about 57, 58 years. I don't teach anymore. I stopped last year. Last year? Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, during the COVID. Yeah, that was a really rough time. What was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Um, play with my friends. Um, all the things I told you about the stick ball and the wall ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah. When I was very little, even when I was like six or seven, I used to put records on and classical music and conduct. Hmm. I like conducting. Uh, so that's one of the things I did during my life a lot. In, in the school orchestra or band, I always was a conductor. Oh, oh. Over. oh. Wait, wait, we'll get back. We'll get back. Okay. Right. Okay, we're back. Yeah. You froze. Okay, we got you. We got you. Yeah. How many instruments do you play and teach? Uh, um, well, I can play most of the wind instruments. I guess I can play a little bit of all the instruments, except oboe. Do you have oboes in school? Anybody playing oboe or bassoon? I think, like, in the upper school, I think there's one oboe there. Yeah, could be. Those two instruments, oboe, bassoon, and guitar. I couldn't learn guitar. And I had friends who played guitar and they tried to teach me and somehow yeah. I couldn't. So those three instruments, but I'm familiar with all the other instruments. I've never played harp either. But I don't want to harp on that. So <laughs> Boom. Have you, you teach the harp? Have you taught a person? No, no, no. I teach mainly wind instruments and brass. Instruments that you have. Well, I don't need to tell you. Tr trombone is certainly one of them. Uh, yeah. That was my major in college, trombone. But wind instruments mainly is what I teach. Okay. Last question. Yeah. Who was or is your best friend? Oh, boy. I'm going back to elementary school uh, and beyond. In elementary school, his name was Jerry Fritz. He was my best man at, at our wedding. Um. Also, beginning in my teens, my best friend, no doubt, and still one of my best friends, is was Jay Welsh. Jay, this is really interesting. Jay went to Temple, like I did. But um, before that, Jay is a drummer, was a drummer. And as teenagers, we formed a band. Jay and I, and a few other people. And we started playing gigs. We started playing jobs when we were 16, 15 years old. Um, and Jay and I were together at, at camp. He went, he was in, he was in, um, 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 what do you call it? at Temple, but communications. communications. So he was like on the radio, like your dad. Uh, and um, later he went into the service and the Air Force, and he was in communications in the Air Force. And he became the announcer for the Air Force Men of Note, the Air Force Jazz Band. and. And uh, Jay spent his whole uh, career in the military, 
in communications. Jay and I also started something at Temple on the radio station, WRTI. It's an FM station. Uh, your dad knows what I'm talking about. And until then, until Jay and I came there, all they did was some soap operas and <laughs> and, and music, some classical music programming. But when we got there, we established a jazz program, the first one they ever had at Temple. And it was live. We did a live jazz show on the radio every that. week. Tell me about being in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay used to make up these really funny, outlandish introductions. And uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. And then we went to the same. We were counselors at the same camp together. We did shows. He would be the director. I would be the music director. Uh, we did a lot of things together, Jay. And uh, now I talk to him on the phone a lot. I don't see him too much anymore. Um, but yeah, he's he's my best friend probably. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever visit him again in person? No. No. I don't think so. <laughs> can I ask a question? Yeah, you yeah. can. What was the name of the band you had, and uh, what kind of music did you play? The one that you started. Oh, uh, well, we we, we played jazz. Yeah. Um, um, what was the name of the band? <laughs> <laughs> I, I forget. I forget. Huh. Oh. Been a long time. Um, At WRTI, that station he's talking about, yeah, is a jazz station. Now. It became like it. Turned, so you guys were the first ones to do jazz programming on what became. It became like all jazz. Right. So they started. And crazy. and another thing that uh, your dad probably knows. Um, I wanted not to be, before I wanted to be in music, I wanted to be on radio. And in fact, I wanted to be a sports announcer for the Philadelphia uh, basketball team. Um, <clears throat> so my father took me and introduced me to the announcer who did the... Uh, was it the Warriors at that yeah, time? The Warriors. Yeah, yeah, it was the Philadelphia Warriors. First the Philadelphia Warriors. <clears throat> and uh, he was terrific announcer. He also took me to to meet the head of the news uh, casting at uh, Channel Ten WCAU. Yeah, right. John Facenda was yeah, his name. Yeah. Oh. And he was the NFL films guy too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Senda was a he's an enormous name in that industry. Yep. Yeah. I have one last question. I did not write it down. It's for yeah. Bubby J too. Good. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Out of the shadows. <laughs> Out of the shadows. Are y'all excited to come to North Carolina? Oh yes. Oh, can't wait. Yes. Really. Ah, no, what happened? Wait a minute. What happened? What? Time I come near it. We got you. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good to conduct one of these face to face next time. Oh, uh, I remember conducting interviews mm -hmm. of your dad and Aunt Sue and, and uh, 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 yeah, <clears throat> Which generation are we talking about? We're talking about uh, um, Mark and, uh, and Susan. Not, not Susan. Um, Amy. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, we used to make believe, I used to make believe that I was 
a man on the street doing interviews and they were walking down the street oh, and I, I would stop them and we do these interviews. Okay. Um, I forget what they were about. When they were but, very little. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so funny. Oh, oh, I wish we had those on uh, <laughs> film. <laughs> well, do you have any other questions? No. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. It was. It was great. Oh, thank you for helping me with this project. Say it again. Thank you for helping me. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Anytime. So what are you going to do with this information? What's the project about? I'm writing a book about you. Oh, you're, you're writing a book? Yeah, about you. Do I get a percentage? <laughs> Tell it, you know, he gets a cut, right? Sure. <laughs> they call that in the business, they call that a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Leslie. That was great. Well, that was great. Great answers, good questions. Yeah, great. Good well done. Go. Well yeah. done. Made me think. Made yeah. Me think. yeah. Some good ones. Now, here's a question for oh, you. Yeah. What was I playing when you were so impressed with my Brahms? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you remember, huh? Oh yeah. What what uh what Brahms, what symphony are we talking? No, no, no. She was playing uh, a piano piece Rhapsody. or Rhapsody yeah. by Brahms. But enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, we can we can end this thing. We'll stop the recording, and uh, you'll take it from there, Wesley. Right? All right. Will I be able to hear the finished product? Yeah. Great. You'll also be able to see it once it comes in. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, right. <laughs> You're making a book. It's not a video thing. It's a book, right? It's a book. Okay. Wow. Wow. Interesting. A couple weeks we'll left. It's a big, big project. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Wesley. That was good. That was fun. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. We love okay. you. Love, I love you. you too. Bye bye. All right. Hey, great job.